Okay. So let me tell you about this guy. Not gonna have so many pictures of him because uh, he was su suspected of being uh, the notorious serial killer, Jack the Ripper. His actual name is George Chapman. And yeah, I, I can see by his face. Uh, yeah, he has that look, you know, serial killer look. Um, Chapman was born in Poland, near Kolo, in Nagorno. Um, he moved to England, at the uh, where he committed his uh, crimes there. He killed a woman. He was known. Uh, for killing women, he moved at the age, uh, at that, uh, sorry, not at the age, at the time, eighteen hundred eighty-eight, um, where he stayed uh, in East London and married a young Polish girl, Lucy. He had one child with her. Then he was uh, confronted because his orig original uh, Polish wife. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Um, three of his uh, suspects were poisoned to death, and uh, similar to arsenic poisoning, kind of a tartar, something like that. His motives uh, were unclear. His victim had given him five hundred pounds, but he gained nothing other from like the other victims that he killed. Um, the, the, one of the detectives at Scotland Yard, Frederick Abilene, is reported to have told George Godley, the policeman who arrested Klowoski, you've got Jack the Ripper at last. That's what he said at the time. In 1903, two interviews were held with the uh, Paul M Mall Gazette, Abilene spelled out his suspicions about the case, referring to Klawoski by name. Abilene thought he was, because during that Jack the Ripper frenzy, he had closely interviewed his first wife since arriving in England, Lucy Baduski. She had told him that her husband often used to go out during the night for hours on end. Furthermore, Chapman had, a, had arrived at a white chapel roughly around time the first murder took, where the first murder took place. His, dis his description, description was matched. The man seen with Mary Kelly, one of the Jack Ripper victims, and the murder stopped when he left for America. So, yeah. <laughs> However... There were two unsolved questions that caused no doubt on whether Chapman was Jack the Ripper or not. Speculation, the newspaper and the books that led to Chapman, like fellow serial killer Thomas Neil Cream, becoming cited like uh, as a suspect of uh, the infamous Jack the Ripper in 19, uh, 1888. So yeah, I'm gonna add the link to the article so you can uh, read it by yourself, the whole article. And thank you for uh, listening to the video and subscribe. And yeah, one more thing, the cause of his death was hanging. And his other name was Ludwig Schlosky. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.